Hi, my name is Keiko K. Hirai. I am a business owner, author, artist, philanthropist. I do so many things, but my main passion is to take what I learn in life and business and share it with others in a simple format, in a way that you could understand, and also to help you to achieve whatever your dreams are uh, just by listening to some of the lessons that I've learned. So my latest project is, um, I think some of you know that I published these card decks and uh, these are called Magical Mind Shifts. Um, and it just, it's a great card deck that helps you to uh, empower your inner strength and create a life and business that you love. So it's been on sale for about three weeks now and uh, one of the things that's really uh, made me happy yesterday was that I received the email from one of the pers people that bought this card deck and uh, her name is Jan Funston and here's the email I just copied it off to read to you and uh, she um, is saying that I'm enjoying the card deck very much every day I refer to the card deck card that I selected uh, for the on the previous Sunday and so she absorbs its meaning, its possibilities, etc. every day during the following week. I started with the word discipline for last week and this week I am one with the word survivor. Sometimes during the week I use the word in conversations and hope to hear the word from others and what they think about the word. So far, what a nice experience. But thank you, Jan, so much for sending me this nice email. Uh, and you did mention the word, your last week's word was called survivor. And uh, that word has a lot of meaning to me. And so in my card deck, you'll see that this is a survivor. And um, to me, there are no winners in business or life. Uh, there are only survivors and let me tell you the story about how I discovered this word and how I use it constantly. Um, everything that the words that I pick are from my book called Sheer Determination, Swimming a Stream in a Downstream World and uh, out of this book uh, there is a chapter in here on chapter 30 and uh, it does talk about the word survivor and um, the it's called um, oh let me see the chapter the title is called one step at a time with a stomach made of iron and it's really a story about how I went endured so many ups and downs in business and um, and I've always felt like gosh I just felt like a failure because everybody would always say that I should be doing better and so uh, here is a little story in here on um, page 215 and it's about how I went to a financial workshop sponsored by the Small Business Administration. In that conference there were probably 50 business owners learning to manage their cash flow and profit and loss and all those kinds of boring financial things. And once we got through with the class the instructor said, okay, everybody stand up. And so we all stood up and he said, now all of you who's been in business for three years, please come to this corner. And he pointed at the corner and 75% uh, of the attendees went to that corner because they've been in business for three years. Then he went on to say, how many have been in business for seven years? And then a handful of people went to the other corner. And as he continues to call out, people started to dwindle off and I was the only one that was standing left. And he said, so how many people have been in business for 18 years or more? And I walked over to that one corner. I was the only person standing there. And he said to me, wow, you've been in business for over 18 years? And I said, yes, I've been in business for 28 years. And he just started to clap his hand and told everybody, oh my God, give this woman a big congratulations because she is a winner. 
And I looked at him and I said, you know, I don't really feel like a winner. I think that I consider myself to be a survivor. Winner is a person that wins for the one time and, and experiences a great emotion of um, winning and glory and so forth. But I told him that survivors are the people that has gone through ups and downs and got up again and kept going and fell down again and got up again and you just keep on like climbing the mountain like this little fellow did. And um, so I said the word survivor is more appropriate for how I feel about myself. So think about it for yourself. You probably get used to the word winner. Everybody wins or, or some people lose, some people win. And what if you change that mindset around and change the word winner to survivor? Survivors are the people that survive through the long haul and still standing there. Winners could be just for the moment or for that year and then they may be gone. And so I think that if you change the word around and think of yourself in that way, I think that we would feel more worthy, happier, and um, have more confidence that yes, I've survived and I'm still here. So I hope that you could uh, use this word and, and keep remembering the word survivor.